Well, good morning once again, dear church family and any others who are looking in this morning. Welcome from me, Goff. Um, here we are again, uh, at the beginning of a day, setting our compass, coming before God's living word to speak to us and help us on our way. We're going through 2 Corinthians and uh, we've slowed down to a really quite a slow pace, one verse at a time this week. Um, Lots for us to be grappling with that will help us, uh, I trust, in our, as we live out our lives for the glory of God. So let's pray and jump in. Lord, we, we do want to live for your glory. We, 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 we belong to you. We, we want whatever we're going through, we, we, we want to, to be demonstrating your, something of your goodness and your grace and your kindness in the way that we that we live our lives. So please help us this morning. Come Holy Spirit, come and warm our hearts, speak to us, help us on our way, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I'm sure you've picked up by now that Paul, Paul's relationship with the church at Corinth was strained to say the least. They, they weren't really impressed with him. Um, there were other very flashy speakers around, um, Apollos and so on, and there's a whole atmosphere of, of competitiveness and um, hero worshipping and just it was not what the church should be at all. And, and here's, here's Paul um, really graciously commending himself to them uh, in, in, in a helpful way. So um, let's just read what he says. We're in chapter 6 of 2 Corinthians and um, I'll read from, from verse 3, covering a little bit of what Steve was talking about yesterday. He says this, this, We put no stumbling block in anyone's path so that our ministry will not be discredited. Rather, as servants of God, we commend ourselves in every way, in great endurance, in troubles, in hardship, in distress. So, that's, that was the verse that Paul, uh, Steve spoke about yesterday. And Paul's saying, I don't want to put, I don't want my life to be an obstacle to the gospel. People looking on and saying, well, if that's what Christianity is all about, I don't want anything to do with it. That an accusation that's sometimes made, isn't it? And Paul's saying, I'm, I'm careful the way I live my life. And what he's saying really is this. He said, I'm, I'm, I'm so aware that the message and the messenger are very tightly connected. We are, Jesus has said, you know, we, we are lamps on a lampstand. We, we, we are a de um, living, we should be living, living proofs of, of, the, of, what, of the gospel. Now, th that could be, feel like a pressure, but it's, 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 it, 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 it's not that it's a pressure, it's that it's an opportunity so Paul is he, he's not going to um, make great demands of them um, I was the one who planted the church you need to give me your allegiance he's being really gracious and he's saying I don't want to put any barriers in the path of anyone so that our ministry won't be discredited he said quite the opposite he says here Steve was saying yesterday we commend ourselves in, 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 in great endurance, in trouble, hardship and distress. And that's not something we often talk about, is it? You know, we'll often, we, it, it's more the fashion to be talking in terms of what we deserve. I mean, in our culture, it's all about we want to make ourselves look good. And in, in this culture, it's about our own comforts and well-being. But here's the thing. Paul's telling us that if we're Christians, it's all about making the Lord look good. Not me look good. It's about making the Lord look good. We want to point people to him by the way that we live our lives. And in terms of rights and so on, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, I know there is that gospel abroad around that, that the prosperity gospel, you've probably heard people refer to it, that, that when you become a Christian, it, it, you deserve the best. You're a child of the king. You, you, you deserve to um, have lots of money and, and all the rest of it. Now, don't get me wrong. Of course, the Lord knows how to bless his children. He does. 
and he often does bless them. But look at Paul's experience here. He's saying that he, he's, he's commending himself through endurance. It's a wonderful thing, endurance. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a, a, a prized gift. In troubles, hardship and distress. Now let's just, I'm, st I'm still in yesterday's verse, aren't I? How do we react in, in those situations? Are we quick to moan or are we quick to find God's grace in those moments? Verse 5, this is a verse I'm supposed to be in today. In beatings, imprisonments and riots. What? Is that really? You know, so often we feel if, if we're in difficult circumstances, um, we, we must be outside the will of God or something. But here's Paul, in, and, and you read later on in 2 Corinthians, beatings, imprisonments, riots. What is this? Folks, following Jesus is, is, is not... It's not the wide path, easy path. Jesus said it's a, it's a, it can be a narrow path. It, it's, it's a challenging path following Jesus. And so how do we do this? How do we manage, to, how do we handle it through um, physical pains, in beatings, imprisonment, riots? Is, is that really what, what should, should that happen? Well, that ha does that happen to Christians? Well, uh, around the world today, in many places, being a follower of Jesus will, will cost you dearly and um, endanger you. Uh, it's perhaps becoming increasingly like that in our culture, where being a Christian is, um, got to be very careful what you say and uh, how you pray for people and, and so on and so forth. Folks, it, it, it's time for us to wake up a little bit in uh, what, what used to be the comfortable West for Christians. It's time for us to wake up a little bit. Following Jesus is uh, it, 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 there's a it, there is a, a cross to bear. It's 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 through suffering to glory. Now this isn't a popular theme, but Paul's saying, uh, you know, uh, th this is the way I live because I I, I don't want to discredit the, the message. Well. Tomorrow, I'm really going to get on to how we how we actually do this. But I'm going to um, finish this morning by, by turning into to going to Hebrews chapter chapter ten, which speaks a lot about challenges when uh, when following the Lord. And uh, here, here, the writer of the Hebrews says this in chapter ten. Remember those earlier days after you received the light. You endured in a great conflict of suffering. Sometimes you were publicly exposed to insults and persecution. Other times you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You suffered along with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property. How would you and I handle that? You're a Christian? Well, we're, we're having your house. Goodness me. Um, they joyfully accepted confiscation of their property. Why? Because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. Folks, this is, this is really something really, really important. Are you aware that you and I, we have a wonderful future, an outstanding, a gold-plated future as Christians? We have. We've got a wonderful future. These Christians had their sights set on, on, on the glory to come, the, being in the presence of the Lord, eternity in the presence of the Lord. Folks, this life, by comparison, is very short. We want to live for the glory of God now through the challenges that we face because we have set our eyes on the glory of God that is to come. So he ends up in Corinthians, so don't throw away your confidence. It's going to be richly rewarded. And that's perhaps where I want to finish this morning. Don't throw away your confidence. You might be going through painful experiences at the moment might be physically painful as, as Paul was mentioning there he's goodness me beatings and all the rest it's physical pain it may be pressures of circumstances those were spoken about yesterday whatever it is you might be going through don't let the enemy whisper in your ear God's not with you he's left you instead of which focus your eyes the same way that Paul did and those right those uh, Christians that um, Hebrews is writing to fix your eyes 
on what lies ahead. You're a, you are a child of the king and one day you're going to be in the presence of the king and you're going to enjoy him for eternity. Now, before you begin to think, oh dear, we've just got to slog it out in the trenches, tune in tomorrow morning and I'll share with you a bit more how we can actually experience the presence of God and the help of God in the moment, in the challenges, while we're still on the journey. So God bless you. Have a good day. Don't throw away your confidence. There's a great reward ahead. And uh, let's be living our lives in such a way that we're not discrediting the gospel, but actually we are lifting up the gospel so that people can be pointed to the Lord through the way we act and react in our daily lives. So God bless you. Have a good day and don't forget to tune in tomorrow and we'll be looking at how we can find grace to help in the moment. Bye now.